Basically, there's two ways that people react. And with these two ways that people react to life, I want you to find out which one you are so you know what direction to go for you to grow. You need more clarity on yourself, and this is something that's definitely gonna give you that. The two ways are backing off and lashing out. There's actually a third way, but it's very short lived, which is paralysis. Let's talk about backing off and lashing out. One of the ways that we react as people to life is backing away from situations where we're forced to show something from us, that we're forced to be truthful, that we're forced in the moment to be true to ourselves. This is one of the main moments in our lives where we back off. That backing off is in a sense of this physically. Actually physically backing away, your eyes moving around like this. You may see somebody and they're on the tram or on the bus. And when something happens, immediately they start doing like this and you can see them actually cowered away, woman or man. You can see them actually move backwards from the situation whether they physically move over or the person stands next to them and you actually feel their energy retracting which means they're scared and they don't want to be with the intensity of the situation this backing away happens in so many different ways for me to try to go through every single one that would be insane because there's so many different ways that we can back away the only common amongst the back in the way is when things get intense you don't meet the moment with yourself which means when something happens that's out of the ordinary when something happens where you're forced to actually be very very present where you're forced to be here in the moment with it you'll move back you'll back away You'll feel like this moment is too much. And this is the one I must say that I've struggled with the most in my own life. Because I used to live out the persona that I was a good person. Because I used to live out the persona that I was nice. At one point in time, I had the persona that I was a Christian boy. I hated violence. I hated in any behavior that was associated with being aggressive. I hated it so much that when I was around it, I would sense it in some way and I would feel myself actually becoming physically tense. Now that I look back, in the moment I didn't know, but I was aware in the moment that I was scared. I was definitely aware of that. I'm scared of this. I remember there was a situation where I was in school and there was this guy who also wound up being a guy who also <laughs> got my woman from me when I was with her. This is the same guy. I remember we we're in the classroom and we're playing around. We're like punching each other, you know, like kids do, little boys. And I punch him, <clears throat> he punched me, I punch him, and at one point he just hit me in the face. And I kind of was so scared that I just played it off as if it was nothing. On the inside, I was really, really like, it just happened, I don't know what to do, I guess I'll just keep going. And a part of me was just so scared of it. 
It really was. The backing off happened so strong for me, even in these minute situations, even in ways where you would go, wow, so you're trying to tell me that when you saw people arguing that you didn't even want to go close to that? You're trying to, you're trying to tell me that a part of you would really feel like you're in danger when you would see something far away. Yes, that's what I'm telling you. I had to learn from my consistently backing off. And in many ways, I have a soft heart for those who do that. Those who are out there and they really want to be nice, they really want to treat others good, and they have this way of backing off simply because they don't like treating others bad or they don't like things that are un under the judgment of bad. I really have a soft heart for them, I do. Simply because I know what it's like to be there because all you really wanna do, all you truly really wanna do is be genuinely nice. This is what you really want. Just like what I really wanted. I wanted to be just genuinely nice. I didn't want the violence. I didn't want the... harshness that I've seen some people express. I didn't want that. I wanted to just be somebody who loved because that's what my mom brought me up on. She never brought us up to fight. She never brought us up to be somebody who's aggressive. She always brought us up to be respectful and love one another, just the same way I do my brothers. But I had to come to my senses and understand that that view of, oh, I just want to be nice. I just want to be genuinely like this. That was a jaded view. That was me wanting to have just one side of life. Really, I just wanted one side of life so much because I wanted to get away from the part of life I felt that was harsh. And if you're someone who calls yourself very caring, you will feel this as well, that you just want this one side of life and you want to push the other part away. Like I did. And then coming to my senses, I just went with awareness. This, that what, which I was doing was not, was, was not even nice was a projection of what I thought was nice. It was what I was fed that was nice. It's what society says that's really nice, that's really genuine. But what's this other side? What's this other side of not backing off and cowering away, but actually coming forward, expressing, being truthful, being clear. All things that can make somebody feel what I didn't want them to feel when I was younger. That makes them feel uneasy, uncomfortable, like they don't like me, like I'm not a nice person. What is that sad like? Not in an unhealthy way where I'm just trying to lash out, which I want to talk about next. I'm talking about in a way where I'm actually just genuinely expressing something and that same energy of lashing out or a quality of it is actually what that ex what true expression is and that's been my path in life it's coming from the place of backing off constantly from what I want to say what I want to express the way I want to be to now showing to now speaking when I was once afraid to speak now saying no when I was once afraid to say no. Now looking somebody in the eyes and going, please, back away. When before I would be afraid to even do that.
that was my new direction. And I tell you that if you're someone who backs off from life, that backs off from the intensity of situations, your new path is actually coming out. Your new path is showing, expressing is your new path. There's the flip side. Because backing away is one end of the spectrum, but what's the other end of the spectrum? Because one can't be there without the other. The other end of the spectrum is lashing out. And what do I mean by lashing out? I simply mean proving, proving, proving. Really, proving. And how does this show up? The proving shows up by you reacting to the back in the way that you've done before and now coming for it so much that you're willing to enforce yourself on others. That's what it comes from. Or someone has taught you to speak up for yourself, to not back away from things, to say how you feel, to speak your mind. And then you find yourself in every situation continuously doing this. A guy might not notice this, he may not notice this, but when he's going about life and he's in new situations and he finds himself at a point where he doesn't know what to do, he will lash out if that's his pattern. So if I take the simpleness off when you don't know what to do. Let's say he's in a situation where somebody asks him a question. They're like, how do you do this thing? He's like, well, I don't know. I don't know how to do this. And I'm like, yeah, but I thought you knew how to do it. That's why I came to you. No, I don't know how to do it. I told you that. So stop asking me. Just that coming out is always an act to protect himself from the way he used to be, which is the backing off. Because it's not like you just come out and you just automatically come out on a lashing person, as a lashing person. More than likely, it'll come from a situation where you backed off and you don't want to do that again because you know the pain of that and you like, fuck that, I'm not willing to do that anymore, I'm going to come for it. I'm not going to let people walk all over me anymore. I'm, not, I'm going to stand up for myself. And then you start to go around this route of proving. And this you'll notice this in a guy or a girl, where they become very hardened, where they become bitter, where they feel like they need to say something right now to prove their point. And in many ways, this person will get a lot of respect. And he'll love the respect. He will. He'll come forward. He'll use anger. He'll use clarity. He'll, he'll speak in a way where he's like, I don't know. Why are you asking me? He'll do all these things. And he'll feel very explosive to people. And the only people who can actually have around him are people who are on the other end of the spectrum. People who back off. <laughs> So what do I say to a person who reacts to life by lashing out, by coming for it forcefully? Your new path is settling. Understanding that to prove yourself, you're going to always run the race. You'll never feel satisfied. You'll always run the race of Okay, I gotta do this, and I gotta, and I gotta say this, and I gotta make sure that I'm not cowering down. I gotta make sure that I, I show my way, and, and my way is this way, and that, and this is the way I express myself, and this is just me. When you're doing all that, you're constantly running this race of trying to prove, and the race will continue. There'll never be the finish line until you're gone.
your new path is settling. And settling simply means slowing down, allowing yourself to feel what's going on so you can get the clarity of it before you express. Sometimes being in total silence because that's the best answer. Unlike the guy who backs off, who needs to come forward, you need to go backwards. And when you go backwards, you'll feel like it's not you. That's, what, that's the best position you can be in. For the guy who backs off, when he comes out, he'll feel like that's not him. That's the best position for him to be in. And once you understand these two, whichever one you are right now, and whichever one needs to balance you out, you're going to gain new clarity on yourself. You're going to become more clear as a person, more transparent, more alive. Now I said there was a third one, and I'm just going to briefly touch on it. The third one is paralysis. And this one is always short-lived, which means you go into a situation, the intensity arises, and you become paralyzed, which means that you don't actually back off or you don't come forward, you just get stuck. And from that position, usually you'll probably lash out. That's usually what will happen. You'll lash out and back away, but paralysis is the middle point and it's short-lived, very short-lived. That's the reason why I didn't want to touch on it. That could be a video within itself, why paralysis is there, the stuckness that we feel. But I'll leave you with that. I still have spots left on my Budapest gathering. It's my last one of the European summer. If you wanna know more about this, click the link below in the description box or go to theessenceofman.com and you'll find it there. Subscribe and share. And it's more important to be that which you are than to become anything that you want to become. Don't try at all. Be.